All right, guys. Sorry about that. I had to go to work, and I just now got back from work. But anyways, we're in this weird-looking hallway, so let's go. <clears throat> Somewhere, somehow, in my campaign to help collect info on sh for Sharon, I completely lost track of which way I was headed. I've been wandering these hallways for at least thirty minutes. I can't even find a single faculty member. I've asked whatever students I bumped into, but the directions made no sense. What does what does left at Tranquil's wing, Tranquil wing's exit, and diagonally past the sidewalk, skywalk even mean? Sharon must be having a migraine right now. He probably thinks I ran off on him. I'll just have to keep trudging along until I find a teacher soon that can give me some coherent directions. But man, there aren't many people walking around this hallway. In fact, I don't even see a single living thing in sight. I close my eyes and weakly put my fist against the wall. Typical. My first few hours here, I can't even find my way around this residence hall. Hey, buddy, what do you think you're doing? What? I spin around and jump back two feet. A girl's voice came from two inches behind my ear. Sure enough, there's a, a strange girl standing in front of me with a puzzled look on her face. Is she an upperclassman? But that's impossible. They should be moving into their dorms about now. Who, who are you? What are you doing here? The girl, the girl leaves me a disapproving look, like I'm the one in the wrong here. Doesn't she know just nearly? She <laughs> doesn't she know she just nearly made me pee my pants? I could ask you the same thing. Do you have any idea where you are? I take a closer look at my surroundings. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Just a hallway of dorms, right? On a closer inspection, there's something written on the signs here. Third year women's dormitory in big red letters. Oops. That's weird. I didn't know female only dorms existed at the school. Aren't the aren't all the halls supposed to be co ed? Wait, I think I recall seeing something on the room sign ups about gender exclusive dorms, but that option is only available for seniors, juniors, and seniors. Yep, that was definitely it. Okay. Wait, no, not okay. I hope this girl is more understanding than she looks. I just have to play it off cool to see what little pride I have. But how can I play it cool knowing I just stumbled into one of the most forbidden places of the male freshman could as a, forbidden places of male freshmen can be. I don't think it's as bad as is I don't think it's as bad if I was caught peeping in a girl's locker room, but it's going to be really hard convincing everyone that I got lost like this on the first day. I look up. I look up. I look up helplessly at the girl, and she's giving me this look, like she's watching from a growl. Or wa she's watching a growlish chase his own tail. Four hours, and I still can't English. Sorry. Goodness, I don't think I've ever been more embarrassed in my life. So you are lost. I started following you a few hallways back because I thought you were some kind of pervert, but you're just another student. I don't think the brochure is that hard to follow. I mean, the design of the dorm rings are laid down in the grid, so it should be really easy to navigate. Here, let me see yours. I'll ignore that first comment, but brochure? Now she mentions it, I vaguely remember those other students carrying around small leaflets from before. A mischievous grin spreads across the girl's face like she knows exactly what's going through my mind. Oh, don't tell me. You didn't pick one up. You seriously went all this time without a map? And you made it all the way here from the main hall? I have to say, your sense of direction is amazing. Uh, wait. No, it's not. It's just hopeless. <laughs> I have to say, I'm already not a huge fan of this girl's personality. Yeah, alright. So are you just going to keep laughing or are you going to help me get out of here? Oh, well, since you asked so nicely, I'll take you up on that offer. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 I don't know why I did a man dark laugh there. Oh, you little. Yeah, yeah, she was totally distanced to go shop. Sounds like another girl. In fact, sounds like there are multiple girls. Judging by how loud their voices are, I'd say they're in the hallway right next to us. I'll take a look around for escape pat. I take a look around for an escape path, but this hallway conveniently ends to a dead end. I'm trapped. 
There's nowhere to go. The only thing I can do is stand my ground and beg for forgiveness. This is it. This is where my first Academy life is, and it hasn't even been a day. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> what? The girl takes me by hand and goes deeper down the hallway. Whoa, she's way stronger than she looks. Hold on, is she trying to save me? She was acting so snobby right now, but maybe somewhere in that insufferable personality, she's not a bad girl, such a bad girl after all. Look, you don't have to try to help me. I'll explain to them what ha- Keep your voice down. If I'm sitting here with you, the seniors are going to grill me too. Huh, why? Huh, why? Aren't you a senior? No, I'm a freshman. And I don't want rumors spreading around with someone like you before I even had my first class. Well, that thought was short-lived. She stops me in front of a tall door while she goes in. Stay here. As she closes the door... As she closes the door behind her, I casually glance toward the sign clearly and unmistakably represents the girl's bathroom. Uh. Okay, hide in here. I'll come get you when the coast is clear. Uh, hello? The sign says it's the girl's bathroom. Yeah, I have eyes too. It's the only room that's not locked in this hallway, so get in before you see us. Oh, heck no! The girl's bathroom is the female's most private sanctuary. Can't possibly defile it with my male presence. <laughs> Visual J. <laughs> R.A. Genius. <laughs> oh, but this is a pretty serious crisis we have on our hands. What should I do? I guess there's really no choice. There's no other way around it, and I suppose I should do what she says, since it was because of me we got the two this mess in the first place. God, dude, I'm covering my eyes while I'm in there. The girl gives me a reassuring smile. Hey, she's actually kind of pretty when she smiles like that. How noble. But looking inside isn't going to make your eyes implode or anything. Now, not a peep from you while I'm gone. She opens the door and gestures me inside. Ladies first. Ha ha. Did she shut the lights off too? That's creepy, man. Just be good and sit here. I'll be right back. She didn't give me an opportunity to counter. Immediately, she, immediately the door shuts. I can hear her running off towards the approaching voices. Guess she's going to convince her not, them not to look in here. But who is that girl anyway? She's not an upperclassman, but the way she handled that whole debacle was impressive, not going to lie. It's almost like she experienced that kind of pressure before. You know, I haven't had much time to think about it until now but what kind of situation is this is this the kind of thing you see see happening in comics or tv shows i wonder how my younger self would react if i told him he's going to end up hiding from girls alone in the girls bathroom <laughs> okay come on out that was fast what did you say to him i saw him, i saw a shiny eevee in the tall grass on the outside, opposite side of the building that should keep him busy for a while that's a good one I bet they made a beeline for it. A shiny Eevee? Heck, I didn't even think I'd be able to resist an opportunity like that either. This girl knows what makes Pokemon enthusiasts tick. I've never seen a pack of girls. I've never seen a pack of girls turn heel and run so fast before. Makes you wonder what their priorities are in life right now. And I'm pretty much sure her voice isn't that deep like a four-year-old, forty-year-old woman. But oh well. Oh, before I forget, here I took one of her brochures they dropped. If I recall, you really need it. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Literally. Don't mention it. But that detour just now really put me behind schedule. I have to get to the main hall before I'm late. But you, despite everything that happened, it was kind of... A lot of fun. Probably the most fun I've had in a while. Let's do this again sometime. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good. I smile at her as she ambles away. Even after she was out of my sight, I continue sitting there smiling like an idiot. Oh, I forgot to ask her name. You better get out of there, <laughs> Red. <laughs> if she knows what's up with orientation. Okay, he's getting out of there, sweet. With the map included in the brochure, I've managed to find my way back to the lobby. I wonder if Sharon is still around. It's surprising how few people are here. Maybe someone knows something about orientation. You need any help? You look like you're confused about something. Speak of the devil. Yeah, I was wonder. Oh! 
I mean, I was wondering if, uh, wondering what? Sorry, you came out of nowhere and surprised me. Seriously, it's like she appeared out of thin air. Okay, so that was like an added scene, which, that was pretty hilarious. I mean, I heard her say something. I just didn't realize she was behind me already when I turned around. Let me start over. <coughs> anyway, I heard there was I heard there's an orientation for new students later, so I was wondering if there's anyone around here who knows when and where it's taking place. Attention, attention, new students. The time is now 4:45 p.m. There will be an orientation taking place in the auditorium of Red Hall starting in 15 minutes. All new students are advised to attend. Right on cue. Did that answer your questions? She looks amused by something. I try to find what she's smiling at, but nothing turned up. She's rather charming when she's smiling. Well, so was the other chick earlier ago. Sort of has this calming aura. Uh, yeah, that should cover it. Did you get Did you get that, Serena? Fifteen minutes. Oh, who's this? Um... That's a good question. You look so lost, I asked if you needed help with something. Pardon me, I forgot to ask your name. It's Rashad. I give Serena and the guy a brief intro. Nice to be introduced. Name's Caleb. I, I'm giving Caleb, Caleb like this deep, really deep voice. And I'm Serena. Well, all the way from Kanto? Then again, we're both from Kalos, which is pretty much just as far from here. I thought the same. We all traveled a long way. Oh, we all traveled a long way. So what were you two talking about? Oh, Rashad was looking for more info on the orientation stuff that was just announced. That was taken care of rather quickly. There you are, Rashad. <clears throat> there you are, Rashad. Do you not find it rude to disappear without say- Am I interrupting something? Sorry about running off like that, but nope, you're just in time, actually. Roommate? Good guess. <clears throat> A correct guess. Everyone, meet Sharon. This guy here is the future student, by <laughs> student council president. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Oh my! I've considered it taking leadership roles from this coming school year, too. Not on, this, not on level president, though. That might be a little much. That's understandable. It's a huge responsibility. But of course, it's a team effort. Which would mean I would like to get a better estimate of who the more capable students are here in this school. Sounds like you've already made up your mind. <clears throat> more or less. You could probably get a nice head start at orientation with all the first years here. Though to be real- Though to be realistic. Okay, that was Kalen's voice. Whoops. Though to be realistic, I'd be amazed if there are any many other first year students who are dead set on picking up ma major leadership roles. Especially before classes have even started. Right. You're in complete ca agreement, Kalen. Kalen. Classes don't start until next week. You're all thinking about leaving your legacies here at the school? What's what I'd like to say, but then again, Sharon and I had a similar conversation earlier. Seems like the school's got a pretty diverse population. We've only just met Sharon, but I can tell you're set very blah, 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 blah. I can tell you set very ambitious goals for yourself. Just like Serena here. Giving me too much credit as usual, Caleb. But thanks for the compliment. Yeah. I've lived next door to you for how many years already? Childhood friend excuses don't count. I'm trying to imagine <laughs> I, I forgot a name blue patters i'm trying to imagine patters giving me compliments whoops i clicked off screen hmm uh, uh, i think i just mentally threw up mm. let's just be on our way we can have a discussion on this later Apparently, the only thing Sharon's been looking forward to today is this orientation. At least that's what he's told me. 
maybe I was right getting them a head start with the student council ideas. I take it you want to do something similar, Serena? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. It's just something I would consider. But what about you? Are you think if you're thinking about joining, that gives me a reason to go along. I haven't thought about it at all. I mean, I can do it, but at the cost of my other activities. Can't first years even get in? Can't first years even get into the council? The ones who are currently there should all be up for classmen, right? It isn't common, but it's not possible. Not impossible. But anyway, we should really get going. Coming along, Rashad? Let's go, Rashad. Caleb and Serena are seeming like really nice people. I like my roommate who just totally just dished me. But I guess Sharon's the type of guy who doesn't like to hang around people that stay in one spot for too long. That conversation made me wonder if I could handle being in a student council. Would I be able to jump to everyone? It's just a thought. Alright, since Sharon left me behind, I'll just hang with you guys for a bit. Seems so, You seem like someone doesn't mind time to himself, so I wouldn't worry. <clears throat> I'm almost positive that was an insult. Maybe it's a good thing, unless she thinks I'm in some sort of basement dweller or mountain hermit type of deal. I'll let that comment slide for now, but that was a little bit on, on the nose there, Serena. This part. <laughs> I can't say um I can't say I'm surprised to find Sharon impatiently waiting for us in front of the auditorium. He has this look on his face like being tardy is a cardinal sin. It's impressive how many first year students are stuffed in here. Am I easily impressed in comparison? Caleb, Sharon and Caleb seem awfully laid back. Serena doesn't have much of a reaction either. She just motioned for us to keep moving. People who won't stop coming in, there has to be a few hundred here at the spot. Back in Kanto, aside from big city towns, it'd be weird to have more than a hundred students in a single grade. Then again, students from all over the world are enrolled here. If I think about it that way, a couple hundred from one grade is pretty selective. Honestly, it took y'all long enough. Go easy on us. We started walking not too long after you left. Let's move further up, guys. We're taking up half the aisle. Oh! Uh, why not like this the noise it says it's like a thousand Pokemon got together and you screech together <laughs> it's like a thousand Pokemon got together and you screech and supersonic at the same time I can't tell if I'm screaming from the pain or if it's still the feedback <laughs> It's so hilarious to me because uh, last time he's like, oh, jeez, stop. And <laughs> their faces, everything turned white. <laughs> A kind of terrible speaker makes it sound like that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Alright, alright everyone, you can all do your cute intros or catch up with each other later, but please buy yourselves a seat. There should be a plenty of, there should be plenty of open spots. Half the people in this room are still brain dead on the floor after that uproar, uproar. I can feel my ears crying. What was that? Some, some, some kind of hater show. Please, no more! I'll kill you! Flattery, not here! Ugh. You need to lay off the lava cookies, girl. <laughs> Try that again. Oh dear, <laughs> Serena. <laughs> uh, Sabrina. <laughs> oh. Come on now, we ha we're on a schedule. Get moving. What a scary girl. I hope I don't have to mess with her anytime soon. <clears throat> As Roxanne, third year of current student and, student and council president. I'll have to say, that was rather aggressive of approach getting everyone's attention. That's an understatement if I've heard of one. My ears are still ringing. But we all made it out alive. I look ahead and see a lone female student now standing at the stage's podium. Either Sharon recognized her voice or he has surprisingly great eyesight for someone who's just on the ground. 
Shall we shall we sit before she blows our ears off a second time? Ha, huh, knock on wood. Huh. That was like the that was actually the uh, the King Nappy res reference there. Good evening, good friends. I'm Roxanne, and I'd like to start. I would like to thank the Academy staff here for allowing this <laughs> for allowing the council to hold this special event. I hope you will all make the most out of this occasion and get the opportunity to officially welcome every one of you to the prestigious establishment. I'm having trouble speaking. Everyone, welcome to Kabuk Kabukon Academy for Advanced Pokemon Arts and Sciences. While we are calling this event our orientation, I would like to ask for your patience in this initial assembly before you all turn to socializing or attending your personal agendas. False advertising? There's a difference between an orientation and an assembly. It's coming. I know this is going to be one of those long insomnia carrying speeches. For the first thing I'd like to mention, I hope you all manage to reserve your own rooms in one of these three student resident halls. The, the one is for the call. The one here is Brother Call, and the other two, Pledge Hall and Aura Hall, are located northwest and southwest, respectively, from this location. I'm glad we got that done early. Shh. But yes, I agree. Another important item to cover is class scheduling. All of you here will follow the present class schedule of six periods per day. I will cover each now, so that if you don't want to wake up confused next week, pay close attention. This is it. Shh. They they <laughs> they made sure him more. <laughs> oh anyway, the first period each day is homeroom, lasting two hours. Core subjects will be covered here by our professor. If you're curious, the core subjects include Pokemon, social studies, sciences, basic theory, and history. Two hours? Do you want to get us kicked out of auditorium? Sorry, sorry. Serious on class for two hours? If I had Pokemon with me, I'd sooner spend two hours in Mount Moon with no repels. Following homeroom would be following. <laughs> I'm just gonna read this regularly just because following homeroom will be one hour of one Pokemon type elective of your choice. What type you choose depends on completely on you. As first year students will be able to select out of two, two out of the eighteen known Pokemon types to focus your studies for on for the school year. Whoa, hold up! Are we specializing in two Pokemon types? Only two out of eighteen. I throw a quick glance at Sharon with my left hand. On my left and it, then it came on and Serena on my right. None of them even flinched at Roxanne's words. Did they know all about did they all know about this? I wish Professor Oak told me about this kind of stuff before making me come here. The third period of day is your gym classes. Here you will learn about different component Ka ah, Now I'm mixing up words. Concepts of Pokemon battles. Training strategies and mental and physical capabilities of each Pokemon. From noon starts your lunch hour. The main cafeteria is at the student center in the middle of campus. You are also more than welcome sorry, to prepare your own meals ahead of time. In case you were wondering about your two In case you were wondering about your two Pokemon type electives, this, this is what your fifth period class will involve, the second Pokemon type of your choice. And to close out today your sixth period will be one more hour of homeroom homeroom. Total day lasts seven hours from a.m. three p.m. between three and six. The academy will research all academy research and extracurricular fact. Ah, facilities are designated for individual groups, for individuals or groups to use. After that, they will require permits for access. Yeah, sorry. Um, I don't know. I keep stumbling on words, but we'll get through this. We'll keep pressing on. Keep that in mind as the school day officially ends after six p.m. I do hope that wasn't too much of an information overload. Once classes are in session, I trust all you will be able to de develop a more a comfortable routine. I sure hope so, Madam President. Like many professors have said in the past, your own adventure is about to begin. Last nice reference. This is the Kabuka Academy, and here is your pride. Working together, we wish to foster an environment where you can believe in your own goals and take every opportunity that presents itself before you. But try as we might, the reality is that not everything will always go your way. Not every opportunity will be there for everyone, and not every door will be open to you. However, you should, however, should you ever find yourself in a situation where you feel trapped and helpless, remember you can always create your own door and travel your own path. 
<clears throat> Have a great rest of the day, everyone. And don't forget to get those sign-ups done. Well then, I was thinking about arranging to meet with Roxanne, but what do you all want to do? I'll have to pass, for su I'll have to pass on such a meeting for now. I'd rather head back to pick my two electives and get that out of the way. I agree, it's been a long day. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I would want to. I kind of just want to get the scheduling thing done too. Grab some dinner, kick back, and relax. But oh, <coughs> but oh, if you don't mind, we can all exchange contacts. We can meet up again, especially if Sharon's still planning on meeting with Fark Sam. I'm assuming it's about the student council. Hmm. You're right. It's been a really long day. Let's meet again another time. Let's settle then. That's settled then. That's settled then. Here. We blah 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 blah. You character cards through your menu. Menu. I'll be heading out this way another time. Bye guys. And she's gone. Let's go then, Rashad. <clears throat>